Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Cam right here at Bomani Technology. This is Bomani and my wonderful sister, Sonika, the Positivity Queen. How are you feeling today, sister? Greetings everybody, welcome. I'm feeling amazing. Yes family, you know we're all about uh, black empowerment and educating our brothers and sisters. Today we're going to talk about uh, getting prepared to travel into the African continent. You know, we do uh, wonderful tours and Myself and Sonika has just been around the world, six continents. Uh, she's probably been to more countries than myself. Uh, but uh, you know, we bring you this, the real experience. So you have a book itself that's dedicated to getting people ready for travel. Yes. Because it's one of those things where you and I talk about. You worked at the airport. Um, like I worked there before. And one of the things you always find out is people don't have passports. Perfect. They don't have the perfect documentation. And people don't have the, the proper documentation needed as your passports and the visas. Yeah, so we're here to talk about all that good stuff. <laughs> so family, the most important thing um, when you're ready to want to travel, don't try to get a passport at the last minute. It's going to cost you if you do. Uh, and, and, and I notice these companies make a lot of money off Absolutely. rush fees. And I need to come up with a company like that because I'll, <laughs> I'll be rich overnight. We literally are just making all these companies rich by doing all these rush visas, rush passports. So that's what you do. Make sure that you apply for your passport minimum three months before you travel if you don't have one. And all you have to do is go on the us.gov travel site, uh, travel page, and fill it out online and bring all the documents to a post office that process passports. Yes. So uh, that's one of the, the, the main foundation thing uh, we don't ever really talk about because Usually we expect when you call us that you have a passport. Yes, and but, some uh, people do not have but, a passport. And some people do not, so we literally have to just go through this. Please, just make sure, you know, even if you plan on traveling a year from now, and once you get your passport and you've completed the 10 years, it's easy to do the renewal process, and it literally takes three weeks. Um, I've done a brand new one, and I've done a renewal, uh, three to four weeks. So when you do the rush, you may get it a week earlier but you have just then spent extra money that you can use for your travel. And I don't even think it's spending. I think it's more so, I would say, it's an investment. It's truly an investment the, that additional, the additional fees. Oh, for the, the late fee if you're being expedited? <laughs> yeah, the late yes, fees. Yes, that's true. Uh, so, but, but getting a passport itself, I would say, it's an investment that you, you must do. Especially yeah, if you're going to travel. Because you, 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 you worked at the airport, at the, at the same airline I worked at, and you always, you, you're surprised just as me when we talk to people that have been there for 20, 30 years. And they don't have a passport. And they said they literally <laughs> never left this body of land. And, and working for the airlines. Can and you and then you that? always want to mess with people, tell them that, well, then, well, why are you, why you here? <laughs> like, so, and I always tell you that. It's they, a business, they, it's a job. They want a job, exactly. But at the same time, too, um, you know, you, we're trying to encourage people who have these jobs and these benefits to open and your mind up. Yes. Because the thing of it is, you have a whole world of beautiful black people and opportunities to connect with. And that's one of the main thing that we're encouraging people to travel. We're not just yes. saying travel just to travel and spend up all your money. And also feeding your brain and open up your mind to, you know, to the world itself. And it does create op great opportunities for yourself. The business that we're in is international travel. Now, if you and I never left here and went to Africa, we wouldn't be doing tours in Africa Absolutely. and we wouldn't be thinking about real estate development and other investments in Africa. So the thing of it is getting a passport, getting a visa for a country like Ghana or not getting a visa for a country like uh, Senegal or South Africa. That's you if know, you're a U.S. citizen. We we're referring yeah, to we're US referring citizen. to based on people yes. being a U.S. citizen <laughs> and there's no drama issue with, you know, you know, we just live in America and most of our customers, clientele and people we deal with are predominantly from America and Absolutely. deal with American passports and uh, but no matter where you are just get your passport it's the same situation you know <laughs> yes. whether in the Caribbean or whether in Canada same mm -hmm. thing uh, so family uh, and the main thing is when you're going to travel with anyone they should have the visa stuff and certain details for you so what we have on our, on our website africafortafricans.org is every tour that you go to whether it's, whether it's Ghana Senegal the Gambia uh, South Africa we have preparation information what to pack, what to bring, and some of the things that you wanted to highlight, you made a note of it. Uh, let's go through your list because okay. it's, it's, 
the vaccinations. There's so much things to go through. The different uh, vaccinations. I find that a lot of people, they will ask them, well, you know, they think because you're going to Africa, every African country, you have to go get all these vaccinations. So what are your thoughts on telling people or informing people about uh, getting vaccinations? Unless a country say that this is a mandatory vaccination and you have to take it or you can't get in the country, it's not mandatory. So what we uh, recommend on our website, uh, once you click on any of our tour link, like example, click on Ghana, um, May 2020. One of the articles that we have for the preparation is going to call building your immune system. Yes. Now building your immune system goes into natural ways of how you can build up your body energy. Like people always ask me, how you got this all this energy and everything? But you know, for me, it's in my blood, my DNA, and it's just I just have that type of energy. But if you don't, um, you know, literally just adjusting your diet, drinking a lot of water. More fruits, even less before, so. meat. Yeah, you definitely yes. want to do all these things before. Before the period, even like if that's you're going to take any kind of medicine mm -hmm. or like yellow fever, you definitely want to take it at least a, a few months before because what you don't ever want to do is take certain things and then travel on these long that's flights. Like, factory. like I got, we had that 14 hour South Africa flight from Atlanta to Johannesburg, and it's like you don't want to be jacked up on that flight if not feeling right. You know, uh, and people sit calling, is there any medical doctor on the board? And yes, they're going <laughs> up from the vaccinations. So, but and it's not, it's not funny or anything, but system. it's like, we always go back to, we want you to be prepared and organized for anything that we do, you know, you know, and I always tell people, go back to, you know, battleship, naval operation, you know, or just any kind of logistics operation movement. You can't decide to just do things at the last minute. You put yourself in a bad situation. And it's the same thing with traveling and moving around. Um, and you know, even when you know you, when you just came back from our Ghana December journey, you noticed we had a lot of people around us. We had a big group, and mm -hmm. we always had people with us whether we went out to the club and certain things. So we always make sure people are safe and everything. So having a good team. If you're gonna take a group of people out, you have to make sure that you know you know you, you know where your movements are good, and make sure that you have you know good local people around mm -hmm. to take care of you. But back as we were talking about. Um, vaccination and things like that. So build your immune system, family, and be prepared and be organized and be ready. And I when you get to another, the country, another good thing that um, from just my own experience, the more that you read regarding your itinerary and uh, prepare for the trip, is more you're making yourself more knowledgeable. So definitely <laughs> read the itinerary on the website when you are coming with us or yes, anyone exactly. for that. And uh, well, some people don't even have itineraries. <laughs> That's if they have itineraries. Or well, we have itineraries. They should have itineraries. Sure. You should. Actually, they, we have our itineraries and our books. Check it Absolute out. Family this talk. was from our recent trip. You see that the year to return. You see, we got this is our itinerary the overview of. It's we, a real book. It's, eight, it's, it's a, a eight, book. It's an eighty-eight page book. I know it might this yeah, people so probably wonder what's in there. The gifts. What's in there is all of your tour information, uh, uh, introductions, Previous where we're tours, going, yes. overviews, business and investment all connections, market and advertisement, networking information, language translation. Yeah. Yeah. So we we'll put it in the book to just give people a special journey. But uh, that's one of the things I always tell people, if you're going to go to people, make sure that you're clear about what they're offering mm -hmm. and make sure that, uh, you know, you know what's included because I see some of these things that, you know, like some folks won't have an itinerary, they just throw up a piece of flyer and then they'll put certain things and you go find out that uh, dinner's not included, this is not included, the Read. tour's not included and you're like, what? <laughs> Read so, this. And then that's, you know, you have to put that back on the person that's watching is you must read. Reading exactly. is fundamental. And, and ask a lot questions. of people absolutely and ask questions. And be clear questions. on what you're getting out of the package that you're paying for. So that's one of the main pre preparation part. Uh, what are other things that you have okay. on there? Uh, I'm going to say, um, I want you to tell them because one thing that I really enjoyed about our uh, trip to Ghana is your team. How did you build such an a, a outstanding team? Well, and making sure when we came across different, um, you know, things, event that occurred. For example, when we had the elders and um, someone had a, a, situ a medical situation, how your staff jumped into action. But I, I enjoyed your whole staffing. Yeah, when you have a group of stuff like a um, like certain amount of people, just, uh, you just have additional people each city you go to. And, um, you know, example, uh, when we go out at night, we have people that's with us. And, you know, we have this general folks around to just look look out for people just in case or one time you guys were going to the mall mm -hmm. and I, I, I offloaded all of my folks that helped you out across the street <laughs> and then y'all still thought that wasn't enough and I was like I gave you three of, all of our guys but we have to take the bus back uh, so you have yeah, situations we, like that 
uh, to wherever you need to cross somewhere or you need to you know, make a certain movement, a local person that's used to moving around can help you that way. You know, maybe you don't go the wrong way and get hit by a vehicle or certain mm -hmm. things. So uh, all those things have to be planned out. And as you can see, before we the bus stopped, I explained to everybody, but people <laughs> kind of sort of had amnesia. <laughs> So let me tell you real quick, after, um, I don't remember, I think we came from the wall that day. Yeah, and we had to go to the mall. So we, we were know? supposed to go back to a pool party, but half, like, I think maybe majority of the bus left. Yeah, majority of the bus left. Man. Majority of the bus left. I took the crew. Me, I, I was the one. First, it was just me getting off to go to the Accra Mall to go to ShopRite, my favorite store. That's my plug in Ghana is ShopRite. So then everyone else was like, well, hey, let's just go. So before we knew it, we had all the elders, the youth, everyone getting off the bus in the middle of Ghana in the city, the hardest city. You had to cross the street. And we were like, Bomani, you know, everybody wants to go to the mall. We changed the itinerary at the last minute. And... We, and the staff were on point. They helped all the elders across this busy street. We stopped traffic and we experienced them all for a whole hour, hour and a half. And they go because we got to tour the um, city. We walked back and saw the new developments and the staff was still with us. And even if the staff wasn't with us, I will say even the people on the tour would agree that you just felt like you were at home. Like, I love Ghana, like really. There you go. We get you into a flow where, you know, where after a while, you know, you feel a little more comfortable because yeah. it's like we're, 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 the bus can pick you up and move you around. But it's like mm -hmm. you got to like at night, like people think we're going to take a bus out. I was like, no, we're no, going we to do a different movement. Yes. So that's one of the main things is the movements of everything. That's making sure you have things coordinated and the people available. Mm -hmm. uh, and the good thing about it, once you do these tours a few times, you can... You always want to go back and put things in perspective. So when we're telling you about certain experiences and certain things and about being open-minded and being focused and also listening when we're giving, when we're going through details and everything, it's all up to get you to where you can enjoy yourself at the highest level and then enjoy everything on our itinerary. Like you see in our itinerary we have, like you mentioned, we have pool parties, we have nightlife, the we go to different sites uh, from museums to historical places yes. to places of shopping um, and so on and, and then incredible dining. So you want to be able to be prepared, make sure you bring different clothing, you want to bring clothing to go out tonight. Mm -hmm. If we go on hiking in the canopy walk, you want to bring, bring you know, shoes where you can uh, you know, uh, climb up the, uh, you know, climb through the canopy and, and go up through the forest. We, you know, go to and the you also garden. want to just look good too, because you got to represent, you know how we do like Yeah, so you know, <laughs> one of the, so the advantage that everybody have now is that they'll see all of us in these videos. Yes. So you can literally look and see, oh, that's what different people are wearing and get an idea. Yes. So, yeah, definitely check out the website, www.africaforthafricans.org. We, we, you're going to have a good time. Just come on the trip. Just come. The next one is going to be April. We're going to Senegal and Gambia. Tell them a little highlights on the trip, what they can that, that, expect. That's it, family. So, uh, Senegal and the Gambia. We have five days in Senegal and three days in the Gambia. So, on that five-day part of Senegal, we have three full days that we go out. Now, we're going to Gori Island, the historic uh, highland, island. Of the African Holocaust, uh, and you'll hear the, the similar stories of uh, if you've been to Cape Coast or Elmina in Ghana, mm -hmm. or and so literally you'll get the African Holocaust. Um, go, we'll go out to the island and we literally enjoy um, enjoy the ride across. But then when we get there, it's you know we're going to this connecting people with hap what happened, and you have a full full presentation. The roots, uh, the real roots. Then we have another full day of uh, city tour. You'll visit the African Renaissance uh, Memorial. Statue. There's also a museum uh, under the memorial. Mm -hmm. uh, we, the full city tour. And the, the third day, uh, we're going to go out to you know, go out to Pink Lake, go out yeah. uh, shopping further out uh, at the cars. car. Mm -hmm. and, and some you know, unique areas. Mm -hmm. So you talk about three full days that we just out and enjoyed ourselves. Uh, when we get to the Gambia, um, one day is a city tour um, in, in uh, Banjul and the outside area. And the other day we're going to James Island and we're going to uh, Jufri, home of Kunta Kente. Yeah. So, we, so then again we're here, we visit the African Holocaust. So these are like roots and culture tour where you get uh, you know, all of the elements uh, to connect you to, to the country. And then we'll do some networking so if people are open to find out more about business or living in the country, we'll be able to get into that also. But it's one of the most incredible itinerary. You have four-star lodging, um, uh, hotels on the beach in the Gambia, and business hotel in Senegal. It's just an incredible itinerary, and it's based on my experience of being uh, to Senegal uh, three times and the Gambia once. 
and then with all the new and the grown energy of uh, Senegal, I was yes. able to create a more vibrant itinerary because the country is booming and it's been a while since I've been It's here. awakening. But it's like, wow, you know, it's like, wow, you know, it's going back and vi revisiting the energy just like we just came back from South Africa and it was just incredible. Uh, five days in Johannesburg and three days in Cape Town and we're going to do the same thing again in November. So that's what we talk about preparation because you, we have all these wonderful journeys and you just literally have to have things organized and ready. So. Um, we have it ready for you. All you have to do is click that button and that's it. send that deposit and get ready for the journey don't be of a lifetime. To read. Yes. Okay. Again, this was Sanika, the Positivity Queen and the Man of the Hour. That's bringing you nothing but greatness. The best tours on the planet Earth is right here. Only rocks with the best. Mr. Bumani Tahimbe. Absolutely, family. So we, we, we're going to keep it strong mm -hmm. and um, we're ready for you. So. Yeah, Come to www.africafortheafricans.org. Be amazing. All right, so family, uh, the journey of a lifetime continues. We keep it strong.